so advitiya uh, we got it released and uh, all this uh, celebrities janaki amma um, pbs sir all of them came just out of love for me um and you know uh, yes th- that that was a beautiful experience and that gave me an entry to the carnatic music arena in chennai and of course then uh, then that was a beautiful journey now i am not into concert circle that's a different thing now the clarity i mean uh, it gave me so much of clarity and uh, now i really know that that shakti is guiding me what to do what not to do and the uh, beauty is like you the complete freedom just like how a mother when she crosses the road with her uh, kid i mean she just holds him like very tight i mean for him just he need to just give his hands to her, uh, his mother i mean she'll take care of him whether he jumps on the road or uh, the mother takes care of him just like that i've just given my hand to i've surrendered myself to that shakti and that is taking care of beautifully after coming to chennai uh, you had uh, many faces like uh, singing for dance playing harmonio to some singers and uh, composing uh, music and also uh, being a professional uh, singer in the field of carnatic uh, field yeah, yeah. can you just share that experience yeah after coming to chennai i came uh, as i said i um, came for uh, i did my sound engineering here and that became a bridge to come to music and then i of course did my masters in music you know when it comes to profession and all that slowly i started after i made it was like uh, i did my phd i started my phd for some six months i did that then i came to know that that's not my cup of tea and uh, i was um, it was a confusion time but slowly came to know that uh, okay you are not uh, going to do anything with this research and all that slowly started playing harmonium for uh, <clears throat> great singers like oh sarun then also janaki amma s janaki uh, amma uh, then uh, even people like vani jayaram and th- in that phase i mean people used to know me as a harmonium player mm. slowly what happened is i entered as a singer in dance arena with madurai murali dharan sir that was a that was an entry to the dance arena um, i was there in dance arena for exact 11 years but in that 11 years i was uh, and you know that time we have had i mean such a beautiful experience something inside was telling me like this is not my best when i used to sing for dance then slowly came out of that and started composing for dance and uh, recordings doing recordings and all that at that time slowly i learned all this technology kill uh, techy stuff and now you know that this studio is uh, everything i mean uh, after point i built this studio before starting mande guru parampara there was a phase that uh, i left dance and there is nothing to do you know i mean nothing to do in the sense uh, you don't have money with you um, uh, dance was the, the so, dance singing was the only source where i used to get uh, money for my survival but somehow for the seeking for that kind of perfection um, i used to i stopped that at a point and i really struggled for a uh, uh, some months and uh, but but of course slowly this uh, vande guru parampara came in my mind and uh, it so happened it so happened with uh, guru's grace a lot of things happened in my uh, life and that each and every point was a turning point beautifully it turned to be like you know at that point itself you you are getting a guru and um, the guru is guiding you and uh, after that i mean the journey is like completely into a it's a it's a basically a vedanta journey and once you know the greatness of our maharshis i would say i mean just try to live according to their teachings you get everything in your life all this have added to my journey and in now when i do this vande guru parampara this musical journey with little ones uh all the experience i had in last uh, 12 years you know that 12 years exactly 12 years or you can call it 17 18 years including your that kind of irritation your frustrations and all that 
now that uh, the journey has reached uh, uh, it's very you know you can't call it safe it's a very beautiful journey calm uh, and peace it's, yeah that's what i'm deriving and i'm not singing for uh, so called sabhas anymore uh, at this phase i've decided that uh, i'm not into any commercial activities um, just doing what i love to do and this day is mine when i get up the beautiful freedom what i get is like this day is mine anybody can have a good voice with practice but a divine voice comes only with devotion whenever we hear you sing we feel the vibrations the devotion in you who was your inspiration is there someone who you admire the most uh you know uh, divinity uh, you will have to define that uh, at certain point of time for everyone like uh, for a for a vedanti it's like atma samstiti just being with that and for a bhakti man his he he sees that in his idol krishna or whatever it is now when it comes to music um i would say it's not about first thing is it's not about plain singing you just l- l- uh, just imagine somebody singing pibare ram rasam like you know giving that carnatic thing and all that uh what what is that i'm i'm not, i'm not blaming that you know just giving the uh gamakas you know wherever it is not necessary mm. it's not about that again it's not about the beautiful modulations it's not about just about the modulations if you see the modulations you can sing pibare ram rasam rasane pibare ram rasam it's not just about that too because uh, that comes again under this grammar and all that it's about your bhava it's about just one question why are you singing are you singing for the crowd or are you singing for yourself this is the question if you at a certain point of time that see the composer pibare ramarasam when he says just imagine his bhava at certain meditative mood he must have written it and he must have i mean literally cried when uh when writing it it's not writing he he didn't compose it it so happened and for us as being a singer or a composer or whatever it is we need to become one with that you can call it rama you can call it jesus or whatever you call it you get that perfection only in that once you know that and once you see the glimpse of that you know you are leading such a kind of life naturally what happens is you are singing whatever you do it's not about just singing a sangadi like you know gamakas when you sing pibare ram rasam it is so brainy i mean there is nothing in that i mean but when you sing with that kind of uh, real divinity each and every line you utter become so pure and it reaches the hearts and that's why i am tapping all these little ones you know because naturally they are not spoiled now at this age they are very pure so that's what is reaching people it's not about uh, uh, just the music it's not about just the being a uh, being a little one it's not about that the purity so anyone can go through that i mean if you are really willing to have that trikarana shuddhi purity is not just uh, just like that we uh, everyone will say that we are pure i mean everyone claim uh, they they claim that we are uh, they are pure but the thing is uh, mana vak kayam as they say it's like body um, action and uh, your mind your thought it should be one and if you can attain that kind of purity then uh, then whatever you do whether it is a kitchen thing whether it, it if you are doing a cleaning everything the godliness is there and uh, uh, it's very beautiful atma shakti ka 
कला स्वरूप रमणोत्सव 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 उत्सव 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 रमणोत्सव रमणोत्सव उत्सव मेड यू टू स्टार्ट वंदे गुरु परंपरा हु इंस्पायर्ड यू इन दैट वर्क व्हेन इट कम्स टू वंदे गुरु परंपरा लेट मी टेल यू आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी पीपल विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस बट आई एम श्योर मेनी पीपल कैन रिलेट टू दिस एवरीथिंग वाज इंट्यूशनल एवरी एक्सपीरियंस इट जस्ट कम्स टू माय माइंड आई जस्ट कैप्चर इट and put it in into action so you know vande guru paramparam vande guru paramparam the name itself came just like that you know it's from a shloka uh, you must be knowing sada shiva samarambham shankaracharya madhyama asmad acharya paryantam vande guru paramparam so many people 90% of the people our listeners are thinking vande guru paramparam is all about uh, i mean uh, one guru is here and uh, one shishya is here and uh, he is teaching music to her uh, it's not about that it's all about what our maharshis our maharshis like adi shankara acharya and uh, people like ramana maharshi and all this kabir das sant tulasi das sant kabir das they have given us so much so much and this vande guru paramparam series is all about them oh my goodness Uh, how this swami vivekananda has lived how this uh, uh, ramakrishna paramahamsa has lived how this ramana maharshi has lived i mean i derive all the inspiration from them and uh, uh, once you know that once you have the glimpse of that then life is totally different i mean your approach will be totally different and this vande guru paramparam through vande guru paramparam what i am trying to convey is it's all about our gurus spiritual gurus and from all over india they have given us so much and the treasure 
they have given us is like once you know it once you have the taste of it the life is totally different it's about life it's not about art as such it's about uh, art is nothing but i mean it's completely about your daily each and every minute what you live uh, can i know what made you to bring the children in this divine project i mean when when it comes to children they are uh, at the age of 8 9 10 7 or 5 they are really pure you know i'm not even tapping their potential i would say i'm tapping their purity i i just love to work with them and surya gayatri or rahul or all these uh, navadurgas they come to me i literally see uh that shakti in them i'm not seeing them as rahul vellal or i'm not seeing them as surya gayatri or uh, this navadurgas i mean as 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 they are i'm just looking them like you know i mean the divinity inside them how do you select songs um uh, and also how do you assign the compositions to the little ones okay again it's uh, you know i mean it's intuition completely intuitional it just comes to me and uh, even the selection you know surya gayatri is there rahul is there and uh, now i know that uh, there there are positives and negatives technically i mean and musically i know what range they have and all these things now i uh, really know and i'm accordingly i just assign that to them see if you see if you go to kashmir they have their own spirituality beautiful i mean kashmiri pandits were there uh, for such a long time and uh, we have a beautiful devi tatva culture there and nobody knows that now i mean uh, shaktiya was very uh, common there and if you go to bengal you get such a beautiful compositions and if you go to that side gujarat and all that so uh, of course south india we are rich with so so many things and uh, so i'm i'm just trying to cover uh, all these uh, compositions by all those saintly composers and uh, basically let me tell you i mean this vande guru paramparam is uh, to be very frank this is an outer expression i would put it in this way this is an outer expression of my inner journey so when i select a composition i sit with the lyric and uh, slowly go through that and uh, learn from whoever it is some if if it is a uh, language in bengal or bengali or uh, if it is a unknown language to me then i sit with my friends who are in that language and then understand each and every word then after maybe some a few months of homework that becomes mine then i teach that to i mean the little ones uh, i don't know whether they are Uh, uh they are really inclined to this and all that that that's not bothering me at this phase because they are they already are pure and uh, maybe at this age when all these suryas and rahuls when they reach this 20 or 30 or 35 at that point of time they will come to know the spiritual greatness of what they are doing i'm so lucky that god has chosen me to do this vande guru parampara this with the same social media and with all the positivity we are connecting people we are connecting the entire nation and uh, every day of uh, some 2.5 lakh to 3 lakh viewership every day every single day so beautiful and regarding the little ones also now that surya gayatri is traveling across the world yes. uh she she completed her uh, singapore tour last year then um, we were in south africa and this now she is in when this interview is happening she is in dubai so rahul also is starting uh, his uh, uh, world tour and all that so i'm very happy that through this uh, their journey is also like a beautiful very beautiful journey but but whatever said and done i really want to see them maybe at 20 or 25 or 30 35 40 when they are uh, at that age i really want to see them imbibing all the spiritual essence of these krutis what they have sung 
because at this age you never know you ju you are just singing music you you don't know all that but i'm very sure at a certain point of time they should know it and for me many people ask uh, what are you gaining through this uh, let me tell you i'm 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 becoming closer and closer to that that shakti that godliness so what else do i need i mean not only that you are also making us to reach uh, near to the shakti so it is a great uh, work you are doing understanding that i am becoming an instrument in this process because it's not easy to get a single view on youtube i know that i've seen that so when when it is we are speaking about crores that shakti has decided uh to i mean act through me and the things are happening through me that's all I, and okay. also you have proved that today's world is going after the worst in instruments everything uh if we do with a perfection with the dedication and the what people really will take so even carnatic like uh, the legends uh, compositions will reach the minds and souls of the people so yeah. it is a great uh, research works uh, i it's really all, congratulate it's all, for that thank you so much it's all go god's grace and uh, when i say god's grace it's not i'm i'm just imbibing each and every moment i am with that divinity i don't have anything else to do i'm just uh, i'm just doing vande guru parampara uh, what is your new project coming up with uh, just uh, yesterday we released uh, the pibare pibare ramarasam next is uh, going to be um, you know a very beautiful kabir bhajan and surya gayatri will be singing it मोको कहान ढूंढेरे बंदे मैं हूँ तेरे पास में मैं तो तेरे तेरे पास में दैट से आई मीन वेर आर यू सर्चिंग फॉर आई मीन आई एम वेरी नियर टू यू सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द नेक्स्ट रिलीज एंड वैष्णव जन तो फोर ऑफ अस आर गोइंग टू सिंग लाइक सूर्य गायत्री राहुल वल्लाल भव्या हु हैज संग भवानी अष्टकम एंड आई एम जॉइनिंग दैम I I just love to join them uh, with this Vaishnava Janato, and we are planning to have the shoot in Vyanad in Kerala. Oh. So it's going to be a grand uh, shoot. I so that's and of course every month uh, we release something with and I'm also in search of uh, the little ones across India. But again, I never never entertain uh, the emails of parents like uh, uh, all of them. I'm sorry to say, I mean. Fifty mm, percent of my emails, I I never get time to reply the emails. I'm uh, really sorry about that to uh, the listeners. Uh, um, the thing is, I'm most of my time, I mean, much of my time, I'm spending in my sadhana. So, and I don't want anything from this world. To be very frank, I'm I'm just God has given me this thing, and uh, I am. for for you all i mean the music is speaking then let me be just alone with this journey and uh, do this sadhana and regarding the emails and all that uh, let me tell you 50% or 60% this email is uh, about all about they want their children to be a part of good. part of this but again let me tell you i mean uh, be confident i mean if you are doing the real sadhana um the right guidance right people will come to you and it's not about it's not only just kuldeep the world is full of opportunities if you are really doing the sadhana opportunities will come behind you uh, in search of you the next thing what i feel is i mean uh, 20% of emails are full of uh, business people coming to me i mean very sad state i would say i mean when somebody is an individual is trying to do something uh you know when he is successful he or she is successful um next moment the business people are coming and they want uh, they are offering me in crores but i am very lucky very 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 lucky that uh, till now in this two years i have so called a uh, trust and all that but till now not even a single rupee one rupee uh i have received as donation for this and i really pray i need your uh, wishes uh like if i can sustain like this you know 
I mean, the best thing about it is the freedom you get. Once you get a one rupee from someone, uh, they'll start demanding. Especially in our country, they, I mean, they are even now they are sometimes some people. I get some mail. Recently, I got an email. Um, last release of uh, Suri Gayatri was in July. So now it's like August, September, October, now Just four months, four months of no release of Surya Gayatri. Then one one person is asking me, uh, why is it uh, that uh, uh, Surya Gayatri, you are not, have you stopped promoting Surya Gayatri? Surya Gayatri and yes. he is asking, next question is like, uh, do you have any problems with their family? He is asking, so I'm, my goodness. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's not about, let me be very clear about this. It's not about Kuldeep. It's not about Surya Gayatri. It's not about Rahul Vellal. Or it's not about all these little ones. It's all about our Indian culture. Such a beautiful culture our Maharshis have given us. And uh, let us imbibe their teachings. And let us contribute to the, you know, cultural success of our country. Cultural greatness of our country. So this Vande Guru Paramparam is all about that. And uh, I mean, uh, there is no business in this. There is no, I am sustaining with the viewership amount, whatever I am getting through viewership and the ads generated. YouTube is giving me money. I am able to pay all these little ones. Please uh, take uh, note this point. You know, I mean, when I was in the industry, uh, this so-called commercial industry, um, uh, the producers used to say, I'm, we are giving you an opportunity, so why should we pay you? This is the kind of atmosphere, this is the kind of uh, attitude they have. But in Mandai Guru Paramparam, I'm at least whatever small amount, I'm able to pay them and uh, all the artists. And uh, this is a beautiful journey, you know. Anyone who wants to criticize or uh, comment about uh, negatively about this, I just want to tell them, I mean, please come and join this venture. I mean, it's all about Vande Guru Parampara. It's all about our culture. It's all about our Bharata Varsha. It's all about our India. It's all about Sanatana Dharma. So, come and uh, let's have, uh, come and join this venture. And not uh, money-wise. I don't want anything from you. I mean, just come and join. If at all, I at any point of time, I need money, I'll definitely come to you. But at this point, I don't need it. I just need your prayers and blessings, you know. Uh, the moment these songs reach you and touches the heart, I mean, that itself is a blessing for us. So, that's all we need. So, that's all about One Day Guru Paramparam. And you can also see lots and lots of every month release. I'm trying to uh, stick to that kind of approach, like every month one song. But nowadays, I'm not able to do that because of my a little bit traveling towards the Rishikesh and the Himalayas and all that. On behalf of the Rasa web channel, we really thank for giving us this uh, great journey experience with us and sharing for our viewers. Thank you very much. Thank you and so much, Rasa web channel. And uh, uh, thank you so much, Divyaka. Very happy that uh, at least I could say, I could share a lot of things with you. Uh, even the beauty is I haven't shared it with uh, uh, on my channel also. I, Thank you so much and wishing you also a beautiful journey. Thank Namaste. you. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Hello. So this interview was for Rasa web channel. Uh, do subscribe then and you can get a lot of updates. It's rasawebtv.com. Uh, you can see Rasa web channel there and a lot of updates there. A lot of beautiful interviews, a lot of good uh, music, dance, everything there. Thank you.